Hey everybody, Q and K here. We are back for part two. Part two. All right, we sped through, got it where we need to go, or where we need to be, to be exact. I'm sorry. So let's give them a little yes, huzzah. yes, a little huzzah to start this episode off. We are ready. All right, Quinn, let's show them what we got. All right, we're gonna go ahead and advance. We are going the wrong way. Oh, this is the wrong. You direction. are going the wrong way. You can't advance forward no if you're going backwards. No sense of direction. Uh, no sense of direction. All right. So this part right through here, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's yeah. A, there's a, actually a giant over here. That guy that was there was there's a, actually somebody was banging on the other side of the door here, and uh, come to find out, it's this guy right here. And he is none too happy he to find that you have snuck up behind him. Ooh. Ouch! That really hurt. I'm gonna try my best up here. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice, yes. awesome, yes. That was a one shot. Fantastic man. job, sir. That was. Beautiful. Do you want to tell them how exactly to parry? I mean, it's kind of um, hard for yeah, beginners. Yeah, par parrying in this game is a lot different than uh, Dark Souls and Demon Souls, because um, your main asset is your gun in this. You don't really have a mm -hmm. shield, and your timing has to be so far like perfect. It has to be perfect, just about. Time has to be like within so many frames, or it won't work. Yeah, I um I did not do very well starting off. I uh, because of that, I I couldn't just I just couldn't get it right. Yeah. Uh, I kn I knew I had to work on my timing though. I'm sorry, I'm trying to watch you fight these. Yeah, dirt birds. Ridiculous birds on steroids that yeah. seem to like to bark at you for some yeah. reason. Yeah, I, I just call them dirt birds. They, they look pretty dirty. Yeah, they are dirty, dirty birds. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, back to what you were saying. You, get, you left an item over there. Really? Yeah, there's an item under that coffin. Is there? Back. What? Okay. Really? Okay. Never mind. You must have saw, I'm like, just seeing things. A, sh a shimmer off a brick or something. <laughs> uh, I it was one shiny brick. Yeah, that was a really shiny brick, man. Um, but uh, back back to what I was saying about the parrying issue. Yeah, in in Dark Souls, you kind of had like a. Like a uh, better startup, I guess, mm -hmm. startup frame, a bigger window of opportunity. In this one, you have to be pretty precise. Mm -hmm. um, it, it takes time to get used to, as you said. You know, it, it took me a while, but it. I, I figure once you get used to the actual prayer mechanic, it makes the game a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I I watch you play, and you seem to have a better time at it than I did. I yeah. mean, it's just it's, it's like, it just getting it, it down. Yeah, yeah. But once you get it down. It's not, you know... Just like that? Sec it's second nature type thing, once you get it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this area through here... I, I don't really care for these dogs, though. They're, they're yeah. like the ridiculous... The most they ridiculous are fast they little are bastards. Fast. I didn't like them in any of the other games, either. But I was really hate this game. <laughs> it, I think it's worse when you have a group of them. Yeah. Because they just... They run everywhere. They are so all good at over you. But you know, one thing I should have showed just then... Um, Actually, the pistols, they actually have a kickback on the dogs. You'll actually blast them halfway across the screen. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a, a good mechanic that works on the dogs. Alright, so I'm going to go up these stairs here, Chris. Um, now, those guys right there, I'm not going to fight those okay. guys yet. Because they're, they're pretty tough. Okay. The best thing to do, I find, is to um, actually lure those guys into like a small tight corner. Yeah, yeah. And uh, attack them one by one. And just take them. And just take them. Yeah. Just take them. Just go at them. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna go lure them. You not. You not going. No. Not now. No. They're, they're okay. gonna get too pissed off. I'm gonna die. Okay. Right. So I'm, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip that. Now. We'll just leave that as. We'll, we'll leave that for next time. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, that's where we were earlier. Mm -hmm. A little bit uh, yeah. higher up on the other side. Okay. From here, I didn't really know where to go the first time around. Now I kind of know. Yeah. I was the same way. You know, you kind of had to figure out kind of where exactly. Which in this game they don't give you a sense of direction. You no, they don't. Of, you have to figure it out yourself. It's those things. Yeah, just like Dark Souls, and Dark Souls Two. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's that's what the those bastards just didn't tell you where to go. Yeah, they, they really don't. They gave you minimal hints. Yeah, they do. Now this guy right here, I don't really like these guys. These guys. Man, yeah. Especially the one with the cleavers. They are the worst. Man. The cleavers? You think the cleavers? I think the stabs are. Uh, the staves. Well, it, it depends because uh, it's just that frame that they have there. See, right there, that was a parry. I could have easily parried yeah. them, but I wasn't in range. I'm always 
I'm always just a little off, it yeah. seems. I just need to get my timing yeah. and space down. And that's what I mean by timing. Timing has to be so far perfect, you know. But once you get it, it's not that bad. Now, these are the guys I don't like. Yeah, those guys. That's Those are the ones I was talking about. I, those uh, guys with a passion. I actually despise those guys, and I really thought I was about to fall out of them. He's about to go down with them. Yeah, that wouldn't have been... Is there an item here? I don't know if I want to jump down and get it or not. Um, it's up to you, sir. Yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and jump down. I'm going to try and jump down on top of him. Because that rat's right there. Oh, can you do a little jump down effect? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. I didn't know they had this. Yeah, that's actually... Oh. Ooh, oh, how did you not kill him? Oh. How did you not kill him? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh! Oh, oh no. no! Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how it looked like he had no health left, but that, that's the thing with this game. It, they, they get you. It's very tricky. They get you, they will take you. When they take you down, they take you down, man. <laughs> okay, kind of did like a Ryu uppercut there. You know, sure you can. <laughs> you know? It's, it's very epic, you see. Back of this loading screen again. This is like mm -hmm. my worst enemy. This is like the ultimate boss, guys. It if, is. For those who don't know, this is the end boss. This is the one that takes patience. Yes, it is. It, it takes time to defeat this one. With, with the right effort and patience, you can defeat him. <laughs> I got faith in you. And maybe if the developers go back and, you know, kind of cut that down a Just little. a little bit. Uh. Alright, so we're back here again. Uh, do you want to do a little fast forward on this? Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, yeah, yeah we're we going to have to do a little fast forward again, guys. We're going to have to fast forward through this part, guys. 